Super Typhoon Saula becomes a Category 5. Well, it's something that wasn't necessarily outside of the realms of possibility, but Super Typhoon Saula, or locally referred to as Scoring, has become a Category 5 Typhoon with a remarkable eye wall in the slightest frames, and it is located at 19.3 degrees north and 122.8 degrees east. With a current intensity of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 950 millibars, it is headed northwest at 7 miles per hour, and it is to pass the Baoyan and ba Batanis Islands, crossing Lu the Luzon Strait and into the South China Sea in the latter part of its life. Well, here's where its wind field is at. Right now, it stretches out 100 miles to the northeast, 90 miles to the southeast, 80 miles to the southwest, and 85 miles to the northwest. There are warnings across the Philippines, Signal 5 warnings in the northeastern part of the Bawian Islands, Signal 4 for southern Batanes and north, south, north and southeastern Bawian Islands, Signal 3 warnings for the rest of Batanes, rest of Bawian Islands and Santa Ana, and Signal 2 warnings for northern and eastern mainland Cagayan, northern Ilocos Norte, and northern Apayao. There's also Signal 1 warnings for larger parts of the Philippines that are not listed here. Force 13 up front at 160 miles per hour. Satellite aim estimates and the GTWC around the high end category 4 area. Well, this is a G GTWC cone, however, they expect the storm to hold on to category 4 status, becoming category 5 shortly, and eventually, as it comes closer to Hong Kong and the coast of China, it starts to weaken rapidly. Although, still impressive to see a storm of that strength in the South China Sea if it does uh, end up in the South China Sea. Well, let's take a look at what the models are saying. GFS takes the system past those islands in the north, really coming closer to the coast of China, and eventually it slams to the Hainan Islands, already weakening on its approach. Rainfall estimates can be very high over the Baoyan and Batanes. See those purple colors? Those signify high rain falling there in a rather short period of time. And Hainan could also experience like a lot of rainfall as well. You can also see Haikui taking shape there in the right side of your screen. See the surface temperatures then, pretty warm, 29 to 30 degrees ahead of the storm. There's plenty of fuel there for Sala to do anything really, but at the moment it will stay at a similar intensity if not slightly higher. Well then the model estimates, GTWC don't seem to expect much more of the storm anymore. It could bump up as slightly as we saw earlier, I think this is an older forecast, but nevertheless that should stay around category, four to, uh, category 5 area. GFS underperforming as well. Shear won't be as extreme, jumping up between values there, it won't affect the storm as much though, which can get quite scary if it changes its path. And the track forecast, not very confident, earlier model runs and forecast showed it being either further north or further south. It's been swinging around that region-ish, so anything from the coast of China short of Hong Kong or Hainan Island can get impacted pretty well. Well then here's the satellite imagery, as mentioned before, that eye wall really showing itself now, very symmetrical on that imagery, and the northern islands of the F Philippines there to be seen as well. If you want to stay updated, then subscribe to our channel for more info on the storm, and we'll have a live event later on, so make sure to stick around for that. <laughs>